Hi and welcome to this reading where we're going to be taking a look at what is it that your angelic team wants you to know at this particular moment. Three options for today's reading. This is option number one over here. This is option number two. And this is option number three. See which one you're most drawn to. It could be one, two, or maybe even all three of them. If that's the case, go for it. Use your intuition. And if you do need a bit more time to make your choice, pause the video because we're going to go ahead and get started with option number one. Option number one, how welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy. Let's see what the angels want you to know at this particular moment. What important messages your angelic team has for you. As I'm shuffling the cards, say your name out loud or in your head. Helps you connect the energies of the reading. This is such a gorgeous energy. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. So for you, option number one, I see that you've been trying to do a lot of things by yourself, maybe even isolating yourself. Uh, but your angelic team is giving you this beautiful, beautiful hug. I don't know what it is. Like you guys really need a hug at this particular moment because for a lot of you, you're going through some very, very tough time. Emotional, physical, there's this energy of just being drained and you feel like you have nobody to rely on. You feel like you can't really completely trust somebody, completely spill your heart out to somebody. And they're saying that you can talk to them at this moment in time, while you're still healing, healing your trust issues and feeling like everybody is busy with their own thing, um, they're saying that you need to reach out, you need to talk to somebody, you need to like release a lot of emotions. And if it's just talking to your angels, talking to the moon or just writing, but you need to get things out. And if you feel like there's nobody that you can talk to, they keep saying, talk to us. We listen, we hear you, we're there for you. But if there is an opportunity for you to speak to somebody face to face, maybe if it's somebody even impartial, reach out. You don't have to do this by yourself. Because it's making you feel very lonely, it's making you feel incredibly isolated. And you're trying to keep busy over here with a calcite. You're trying to keep busy, you're trying to work. For some of you, I'm, giving, I'm getting the energy of a wounded healer. Somebody who tries to help others, but doesn't get, doesn't have enough time to help yourself. Take charge of your schedule during this busy time and honestly assess your underlying reasons for being busy. So whatever it is that you do to get away maybe from the pain, from the emotions, from the trauma that wants to be healed, that needs to be healed, that makes itself known over and over again, the kind of saying, it's time for you to be honest with yourself and see why you keep like being busy, why you keep burying yourself in work or why you keep overindulging in something. Whether it's watching too many movies or binge watching series or trying to eat the pain away, eat the stress away. They're saying it's a coping mechanism that doesn't help you solve the issue. Also for some of you, they're coming through and to let you know, beware of spiritual bypassing. But dedicate time for you to really talk to somebody, to reach out to somebody, to deal with you. The kind of thing, put you in the center of attention because with all of this yellow that's coming through, your solar plexus energy center needs a bit of a boost because you're feeling drained. You're feeling drained. A lot of anxiety, a lot of unanswered questions. It's draining you. And look at this, more yellow. This is amazing. 
value your self-worth this is really where they're coming through and they're saying you have to you really have to see how precious you are how precious your energy is how precious your time is how precious your heart is you're god's precious gem for you option number one i feel like you were conditioned to put other people's needs and desires in front of your own and there's a big part of you that's saying look at me heal me listen to me because you kind of have forgotten or maybe you never even learned your self-worth how precious you are how valuable you are even if somebody at work is telling you that you need to work harder that you need to prove yourself and so on and so forth they're kind of saying no right now what's important for you is to pay attention to yourself is to stop overworking yourself is to stop trying to come through for everybody but yourself because i'm getting a lot of wounded healers over here people with big hearts but it's like there's no place for you and your big heart and there are parts of you that are becoming very upset with this because they're like come on it's it's like a forgotten child sort of thing you know so maybe for some of you it feels like you constantly had to sacrifice something or maybe you grew up in a family where you weren't an only child and and somebody else was always like considered more important and more significant than you are and here it's time for you to learn the value of your peace of mind the value of your mental health the value of your well-being Because you are important. I don't know if anybody told you this lately, but here comes your spiritual team to remind you. Spiritual protection. You're being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So for quite a few of you, it feels like you guys feel unsafe. Like there's just this energy of feeling unsafe for quite some time and maybe you had to really adapt and when like adapt to circumstances in order to survive in order to get to your goal or in order to feel safe but every time you are adapting it's like you were breaking yourself in one way or another and it come it came to the point where now you just feel broken and, and some of you you feel like you don't know who you are anymore and your spiritual team, your angelic team is coming through to remind you that you are safe in expressing yourself. Even though it might not feel like it, even though you constantly had to adapt, maybe because you were brought up in a very hostile environment or, you know, you were in a relationship that was constantly making you feel that you have to put other people first instead of yourself. And you're very close to this life-changing epiphany or experience. It's time for a big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. So it's time to break the cycle. This is what they're telling me. Your winged friend over here, however you want to envision them, however you want to imagine them, however you want to refer to them, but something outside of you that has a very big connection to you that sees you that feels for you really wants you to pay attention to yourself because it's time to break a cycle it's time for you to see that the coping mechanisms that you've used or are using at this particular moment whether it's overworking yourself stressing yourself out, trying to just disassociate yourself from the world and your reality, and they're not working anymore. They really aren't working anymore. And for you to move forward, for you to become a happier version of yourself, this is what is needed. This exactly is what is needed. I'm going to pull out one more card for you.
sensitive emotions. So I'm reading for my lovely empaths over here. I'm reading for my sensitive, sensitive people who had to learn how to read other people's emotions, how to feel other people's emotions so that you know what to expect. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. So now is not the time to really, again, overwork yourself. Now is the time to give yourself the TLC that you wish somebody else would give to you, but they aren't giving it to you. So it's time to do this for yourself. And don't blame yourself for the things that you've done in the past. Don't blame yourself for that. Try to understand why you did those things. Because blame and being hard on yourself and criticizing yourself and getting angry at yourself, it's not going to solve anything whatsoever. Whatsoever. It's always healing through love, compassion, understanding and acceptance. That's it. That's the only way that works. Regardless of what anybody has ever told you, that's the only way for healing. All right, lovely option number one. That's what I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Take care of your beautiful selves now. Bye. Option number two. Hi, welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy. Let's go ahead and get started. As I'm shuffling the cards, say your name out loud in your head. Helps you connect to the energies of the reading. Let's see what your angelic team wants you to know. Ooh, ooh, okay. Control issues. Okay. You guys have been trying to control a lot of things, right? Or somebody has been trying to control you. There's this energy of you wanting things to turn out a certain way. And it could be that you lately, there has been a lot of stuff resurfacing from the past where you wish you would have done things differently. Because they're showing me you and they're showing me like holding on to something really, really tightly. Trying to control, trying to control things that you can't control. Things like what is going on in the world. Things like whatever happened in the past. Maybe some other people as well. You're trying to like control the way that they react. There's this big energy of, of really holding on to something that is hurting you rather than doing anything else. And for you, control means safety. So it's understandable that you want to use control as something to make you feel more secure and more in control. And the message over here says, utilize your God-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you. It could be that you guys have been in quite a difficult relationship and now you're kind of isolating yourself and you're being afraid to go into relationships again because subconsciously you don't want to be controlled. You could, you could have been manipulated by money, by, um, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is that people manipulated you with, by fear, by somebody completely destroying your self-esteem and you're trying to control the situations that you don't have control over. They're saying this is very important. Don't ever assume you can change somebody unless they're wearing diapers. Honestly, this, this saying just came into my head. They're saying, like, don't try to change somebody. Make a decision. For a lot of you, there's like this decision to leave something to leave something, but you're trying to, like, you know, when you're like, this feels like a chariot when it, when it's in reverse, when we're talking about tarot, when it's just chaos, you guys are trying to control chaos. And they're saying that there's no need for that because it's just hurting you. You're trying to hold on to the reins of a cart, that, like that's of a chariot that that's just gone crazy. Release it. At this time, this is the best thing that you can do. Let's see what else they want you to know. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Interesting. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. You're trying to contain yourself. You're trying to control yourself. You're trying to control your emotions. For a lot of you, it's like you lost the connection to your body and they're saying you need to regain connection to your body to really listen to how your body reacts to people to certain situations here they're saying like you think if you show some sort of emotion it's weakness it's not it really isn't You're trying to control yourself. You're trying to control how you react to something. And they're saying that this is not the best way for you to go at, at all, whatsoever. Absolutely. You would really benefit from talking to somebody over here, talking things out. Purification and detoxification, yeah. For some of you, I'm seeing that there's a big issue when it comes to your self-image, where you might be questioning your beauty or your worth. Uh, some of you might have been conditioned that you're only valuable. Again, if you look a certain way, if you earn a certain amount of money, if you work in a certain profession, and so on and so forth. And they're telling me that you're trying to control a lot of emotions that have to do with this. With those, like, with this framework that the society or somebody next to you built around you. Because it feels like a cage now. It really feels like a cage for you. But you're trying to control yourself and you're trying to press down and suppress certain emotions. And they're saying it's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. Because again, your body lets you know if somebody is toxic. Your body lets you know if something is toxic. But if you try to suppress the reaction, then how are you going to know? There's also a very big message for a lot of you guys to rethink your nutrition. So if you've been, um, if, if like I'm seeing, like you know that there are two extremes, that there's some of you that maybe have been trying to eliminate a lot of things and your body needs more like nurturing food and nurturing drinks and it needs more care and it needs more attention. And for others of you, there's like binging, binging on things. For some of you, it could be that you go from a very strict regime, from like pushing yourself to look a certain way, and then you go binging. And they're saying it, it really messes you up, it really messes you up over here. So there's need for balance. There's really need for balance. Because every time you tell yourself that you can't have something, that you forbid yourself from having something, you want it even more. There's no way around it. That's just the way we work. But if you allow yourself to have everything in moderation, then you won't have those like <laughs> days when you just want to start eating and grabbing and, 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 you know, when you fly off the handle. And the same with emotions. You can't control your emotions to the point where you're suppressing them. Of course, there's a time and a place, but... This is emotions is also a way of detoxification. Because if you know, if you had a, a shout or if you had like a cry, you feel better because you release something. And if you keep it inside of you, if you try to control yourself, if you try to constantly be composed, you know, and keep up a certain appearance of, of somebody, then all of that toxins like that, that energetic toxins, they stay within you. Mm -hmm. The more you try to control things, the more you worry. Because you're trying to foresee things in advance. And I can completely relate to that. But in time, this can turn into anxiety. 
This can turn in you getting on a bus and imagining all of the things that could go wrong on that bus. Uh, of you meeting somebody and imagining all of the things that could go wrong with this person. And so on and so forth. And they're saying that you got to learn to trust the universe. And it's a very difficult thing to do when you've been conditioned that control is safety. But it's not. At this particular moment, when you try to control too much, it turns into anxiety. And they're saying release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. And if you don't believe in God as such, this is about releasing things to the universe, to, to whoever you believe in. Because you tend to take way too much upon yourself. Way too much. And you don't like asking for help. I can so see that, option number two. You're somebody who had to rely on yourself for a very long time. Hmm. But it's very interesting, look at this, especially for those of you who have been worried about money, about how you're going to make money, about how you're going to survive. They're telling me that there's a very positive shift yeah, in support, uh, in the in the flow of divine support. This is usually an indication when we try to maybe hold out for a particular job and we really, really, really want it and we try to control the outcome and we try to control who we are and we suppress our authenticity, yeah? And then we get the job and then we struggle with it because it's not the best fit for us. But they're telling me that once you release those worries, there's going to be something better that comes along. It's not always just one thing. Sometimes we can only see one thing, but um, there are many other opportunities. And this is what they're telling me over here. Option number two. But there is a big shift when it comes to your prosperity that's coming in. That's stability. Maybe some of you, you feel like you have to trade in, you know, like you have to, like you're bargaining with yourself. And like, is it money or is it convenience or is it free time or is it family or is it love? Loads of things. But they're saying like, prioritize what matters now and be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. So if you feel like you can't do something right now, don't push yourself. Don't push yourself. Don't try to, again, don't try to control how fast you heal. Because healing, recovering, both physical and mental, it takes time. It takes time. And you can't control and you can't rush how fast a wound heals. Yeah? A physical wound. So do the same with your mind. Do the same with your heart. Allow it, give it the time to heal. That's the act of ultimate self-love. Where you realize that you're only human. And that things take time. So be gentle with yourself right now. It's incredibly important. All right, lovely option number two. That's what I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Take care now. Bye. Option number three. Hi and welcome to your reading, guys. Get comfy. As I'm shuffling the cards, say your name out loud in your head. Helps you connect to the energies of the reading. All right, let's talk to your angels. For you, when they say guardian angels, interesting. Maybe your guardian angels are coming through. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. What is it that your angelic team and your angels want you to know at this particular moment? It's been a while since I've done a reading on angels. But today I thought we all need a bit of a angelic support. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what they have to say. Powerful. Option number three. So um, it could be that you're doing some forgiveness work. And if you're not, your spiritual team, your angelic team are kind of coming through to let you know that it's something for you to definitely consider doing at this time. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So if you've been wondering why you're feeling a certain way, why certain emotions keep resurfacing why especially this is going to be 
relevant for those of you who have been thinking about some instances and people from the past like just surfacing or surfacing out of nowhere and you're like why am i thinking about this person why am i dreaming about this person because it very much feels like you guys are ready to move past a particular cycle yeah especially when it comes to love for a lot of you i feel love i feel love is on your doorstep so so close but forgiveness, it has a lot to do with forgiving yourself. Because really, if we look deep down, um, we are angry at ourselves for allowing others to treat us a certain way, for not walking away, for not um, speaking up for ourselves, and so on and so forth. And that can become very, very toxic. And what it is that they suggest that you do is that you treat yourself with compassion and understand that at the point in time, whenever that was happening, that was all you could do. That was the best possible decision for you at that time. Now that you know better, of course, you would do things differently. So here, this is so much about the importance of forgiveness work on your healing path, on your journey. Because for a lot of you, again, I want to stress this again and again, there's this energy of some sort of loving connection that wants to come through. For some of you, it could be romantic. For others of you, it could be a friend. But somebody wants to connect. And it's about you forgiving yourself. Because once you forgive yourself, the other people, they won't matter. They won't matter. You, you, you cut the cords with them in that way where you give yourself the love and the forgiveness for maybe not seeing things, for not seeing the red flags, for not uh, acting a different way, from not walking away. You always got to remember that at that point of whatever happened, you did your best. And there's no point in giving yourself a hard time saying you could have done something different. At that time, you couldn't. You were acting from what you knew. In this forgiveness, they're saying it's a massive, massive thing that's standing in a way of you becoming free, of you becoming happy, of you releasing a lot of situations, a lot of people, and moving on, moving past things. A lot of you, I know when we talk about forgiveness, it's triggering for a lot of people because like, how can I forgive something that they did? But again, it's not about forgiving them. It's about forgiving yourself. Because when we really are honest with ourselves, we are angry at ourselves. Mm-hmm. Look at this, the sensitive emotions. I feel, my darlings, option number three, you're somebody who's very sensitive. You're somebody who's very sometimes naive, loving, but it's like you had to put on this thick coat of armor in order to protect yourself. Like you've been mistreated and you've gone in like similar situations again and again and again and again and again. And so you suppress this beautiful naive, lovely, nurturing, sensitive, loving part of yourself that really wants to come out now. And it's this part now speaking to you through your angels, through the angelic team. Times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. And self-care and gentleness, it has a lot to do with forgiving yourself. Allowing yourself to move forwards, allowing yourself to realize that you're a human being who makes mistakes, who can't always do the right thing. It's impossible. It's impossible to always do the right thing, honestly. 
wellness oh look at this i really like that so this is especially for those of you my darlings who haven't been feeling well lately a recovery of health and wellness is here there's such a beautiful indication that this forgiveness yeah because we're talking about health twice twice darlings And it could be that certain parts of your body are aching right now. And this could also be an indication of stagnant energy. But the recovery over here, it's coming through for sure. Stress reduction. Yeah, look at this. Oh, they're just, oh, this is so gorgeous. I don't know why I'm getting, I know spiritual beings, they don't have um, a gender, but I'm getting such a beautiful, nurturing, loving, motherly energy. I feel a lot of you, option number three, you never got that. When you were little, you never got that. Maybe you had an absent mother, a cold mother. But here I'm getting like a motherly energy. And it's so sweet and it's so soft and it's so gentle. Distress your mind, body and schedule as you need to rest, recharge and revive. If you haven't been feeling well, don't push yourself. Don't push yourself. Forgive yourself for falling ill when you have an important presentation. F them. Honestly. F the presentation. F the people. You. You, 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 you is the priority. Your wellness, your health. If you're in a relationship or in a situation that's making you feel unwell, eliminate, eliminate that, at least for the time being. Yeah, because here they're saying as much as possible, reduce anything that causes you stress. And don't feel guilty that you just want to lay around and just be comfortable, warm, cozy, safe, secure. This is your absolute right. This is, again, all about showing yourself love, putting yourself first, being the priority. And you do need to recharge over here. And especially if you're not feeling well, guys. Especially if you're not feeling well. Mentally, physically. Mm, look at this, because your true self wants to come through. As you allow others to know the real you, you will feel loved for who you truly are. Very interesting. And again, this gentle, beautiful part of you that wants to come out. This part that makes friends easily. This part that knows their, their self-worth. This part that knows its value. It wants to grow, it wants to evolve. Because I'm seeing, seeing some caring connections over here. Some very beautiful and caring connections that are coming through. And remember, progress is important, not perfection. Uh, some of you guys could be perfectionists, honestly. It feels like you're somebody who doesn't like to get ill. It feels like you're somebody who always wants to be the best, um, to deliver the best, the best. Like I keep hearing, I want to be the best version of myself. Um, and they're saying like, what's important right now is progress and not perfection. Stop demanding more of yourself that you can give. Stop pushing yourself more than you need to. Nobody benefits from you suffering, from you sacrificing things. And they keep saying nobody is going to, to be grateful for you sacrificing something. Nobody. Sacrificing something it doesn't mean that you will get something in return. It does not. It's a very toxic belief that's floating out there. Making people push themselves harder, sacrifice their dreams, desires, time, health, for God knows what. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus on how far you've come and what you have learned. This is incredibly important 
to give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've already come, for the healing you've already achieved for how much you have become to, uh, you've come to understand who you truly are. And I said this to, I think, to option number two, and I'm going to say it to you, that love is the biggest push for moving forward, for healing. Love, compassion, understanding, and acceptance. So don't push yourself too hard because honestly, guys, I do see even the cards, they didn't show it, but the feeling is there. Because look at this, revealing your true self, you feel loved. You feel loved for who you truly are, first by yourself, and then you're going to attract people who are going to do the same. Who are going to do the same. And they think boundaries are incredibly important. The more you work on your boundaries, the more you learn to say no, the better it is going to be for you and you're not going to be so energetically drained all of the time. All right, my darlings, that's what I have for you, option number three. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Take care now. Bye.